slightly different filming location momentarily. And I've been digging through some old stuff and I've found this set of old Habitat lights. Now, Habitat was a chain of shops in the UK. I don't know if they're still about, but they, uh, they sold quite novel sort of interior design stuff and their lighting section was always very good. And especially the sort of, I was going to say Christmas lighting, but to be honest, it's all year round lighting. And this is a typical set of theirs, which is uh, the chasing set. Now, I have to say, look at the thickness of the wiring loom versus the actual lamp. It's enormous because uh, being uh, tungsten, it's quite high current. And one of the nice things about the, uh, these sets was they didn't skimp with the spare lamps. You could buy a set of 25 spare lamps for about £2, which was really good value. Uh, but what's really interesting here is if you consider this was designed to run off a 24 volt power supply and had 10 2.2 volt lamps in series allowing for the slight voltage drop. Um, they also did versions, early LED versions. I've left the automatic light intensity control uh, on so that's why it's floating about and that's deliberate because uh, there's going to be some lights lit later on. And um, this is a based on one of their LED sets because they introduced a, a set with just yellow LEDs and keep in mind this is before green and blue LEDs were you know a standard thing so it, typically uh, if you got sets of the LED lights they were just red all red or they were all yellow and theirs was a yellow but a fairly sort of sodiumish yellow and the nice thing about these was that uh, the anvil inside, the little reflector cup that normally supports the chip, is actually flat, so it is just a wee set of anvil shape. It's a surface with the chip on it and it gives it a very wide viewing angle. And the first sets I got of these, I hacked them and modified them because uh, they were wired uh, as a series circuit of 10 LEDs. And by mixing uh, reds and oranges in with the existing yellows, I managed to use the same transformer, which was 18 volts, to match the sort of lower four voltage of the LEDs in this the circuit of 10. And it, it was a really nice set. In fact, uh, so nice that they ended up being manufactured uh, by an acquaintance who was uh, setting up his own sort of Christmas lighting type company. And he got them manufactured under the name Sunset Lights with the same sort of pointy, you know, the focused lenses that project beams around the room. And it's a really nice effect. However, when I started getting the green and blue LEDs from eBay, when they first became affordable, the slightly dodgy ones from sellers like Best Hong Kong or Chai Wing, um, I made possibly one of the first full colour sets of lights. Now, I'd say one of the first, I'm guessing other people must have been doing it at the same time. I can't have been the only person who had the idea to do that. But um, I ended up getting the series circuit of 10, and mixing in an equal number of LEDs with reds, uh, oranges, yellow, the original yellows, greens and blues. And because it required a higher voltage, it, it didn't light terribly brightly at all in the original 18 volt transformer. So to boost the voltage, I didn't just rectify it. I replaced the rectifier with this little box designed to power them. And inside is, let's pop it open. A rectifier and a smoothing capacitor. Now the smoothing capacitor is what makes the difference here because if you add a smoothing capacitor to a rectified sort of AC supply it increases the voltage. So where as it was about 18 volts to start with, let's see what that would have that have been. Um, if it was 18 volts to start with uh, it would have been multiplied by to the peak voltage. So that's times 1.41 so it would have gone up to about 25 volts DC, which was uh, able to drive all the LEDs. But also, it actually went up a wee bit too high, so I also put uh, in the middle of each string of 10, I also put a resistor, I think that's a 330 ohm resistor, orange, orange, brown, 3, 3 and 1, 0. And the net result was, well, let me plug it in. And this isn't going to be... You know, you're used to the LED lights. The most novel thing about these is it does project all the beams of light out all over the place, which is nice. It really, it literally, you know, you look around the room and it's got little pools of light, like little spotlights. But um, what makes these really special is that I put these in a sort of trellis outside the front of my flat. And at that time, green and blue LEDs in Fairlight simply were not used. It was the, one of the first, if not the first. I mean, it was certainly one of the first uh, 
uh, sets of full colour LED fair lights and because of that it just looked absolutely staggering. You know, people were used to the tungsten lights which had that sort of, like the blue was always really muted and the green tended to be quite dull as well. But this set, it was so outstandingly vivid that everybody who came upstairs ended up knocking the door or ringing the doorbell to actually ask me where I got them from because they were so striking. Um, and I had to say, I'm sorry, that they were just uh, custom made. It's a one-off. It's just really something I made myself. But they, it was nice uh, having been, you know, it was just, I just wanted to have a set of full colour LED fair lights. And uh, of course, now, as I say, they're just a standard thing. But at the time, uh, it was really quite special. So, um, yeah, that's the advantage when you can actually do stuff like this yourself, that you can actually uh, hack stuff and modify it and be different. You know, you, you end up with something that nobody else really can have at that point in time. So, uh, yeah, that was a good result. I really liked those. I used them for several years. A really good way to put this into perspective of the difference in intensity is that these are the tungsten lights uh, lit at, well, full intensity. And these were the new LED lights. So you can see that at the time, it would have been quite radical to see these. They were just staggeringly different in brightness. I just thought it would be worth adding this bit in just to show you a comparison between the two of them.